Take two. I hate living in the city. It's so noisy. There's motorcycles, cars, trucks. So I live just by the road. This stuffs me so much. I'm so angry <laughs> all the time. But no more. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the finale for the drop tip before summer. I made my intro, my first update at the deadline, you know. But then we got around to May 20th and then I didn't do it, I didn't have time. And then it became too late to do it. So much going on. So now it's the finale. So what progress you can see here is for like two months. So. I have 10 products here to show you, some of them are finished, some of them are not and everything was going to be reminding me of summer so if you want to hear how I linked summer to these products please check out the intro down below in the description box as always and this is a fantastic ladies Facebook group collab I have been so excited to be a part of this collab again because I also did it last year and it's just amazing that we can come together. So many ladies. Does that make sense? I don't know. Is that a sentence? I don't know. The first one I have is a perfume and this is from Black Onyx and it is the Green Eau Perfume. So in the intro I was all the way up to here. I have used this like a handful of times but now I'm only down to here. So I feel so bad in this product but I don't really like it. I do use it on myself from time to time, I really don't remember and I have used it a few times, quite a few times as a room spray in my bathroom and in my bedroom but something I have discovered about this perfume is that the lid, this one you can see kind of, it is crumbling, it's, it's just a mess I hate this packaging because this sofa, sofa it's everywhere. Small bits and pieces everywhere. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's confetti all over it. So I don't really want to open it. I don't want to use it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this perfume because it's nice but it doesn't last at all. And the packaging is crap. Then I have my body lotion. It is the one from I Love. It is the mango and papaya. I finished this. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I was here in the intro, first update, and then I finished it in the last two months. Yeah, in the end of May, I mixed it in with a highlighter. It is the highlighter from the Bomb Bomb Jovi Rockstar palette, and it is the one right here. I will insert some photos so you can see what it looked like and stuff but I mixed the rest of the product into this uh, body lotion <laughs> in a tub so it could be like a shimmer lotion you know. So I really really enjoyed it that way and it lasted me quite a few times. I just got so tired of this highlighter that I wanted it gone so I thought that was the perfect opportunity and I really have enjoyed a shimmer lotion so because it's the sun is out and stuff like that. This morning I finished up my NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm so excited about this. It's okay, it's not amazing. I don't really see a difference, maybe a tiny bit. It does well with this foundation I'm, uh, I'm wearing at the moment. It's a W7 foundation. It matches really well, but again, I don't think I, I'm going to buy this again because I went through it so fast so fast so done then we have a disappointing product my lipstick i'm wearing it now i wear it every single day this past week i have worked so hard hard on finishing it but i haven't i i have almost finished half of what was left the top when i started it was so melty but then I have like used that up and now I'm stuck with the, the actual lipstick that is kind of hard, you know, so I can apply it right. So it's so much easier to um, use now. I'm going to use this until it's done because I really want 
this to be done and work on another lipstick. Sometimes it can get too dark if I put the wrong lip liner underneath, but I'm too lazy to remove it because it's it's rubbing off when you eat anyway, so I don't really mind. Another one I didn't finish, which was obvious I wouldn't, it is my L'Oreal Gel Intensa Eyeliner in pure black. Here, this is how much I have. I have almost cleared out one quarter of the product. It's a really, really nice eyeliner, but it's just too much hassle at the moment. So now that I have this project done, I'm rolling that out, of course, of my routine. And then I have another eyeliner in, um, because I just started the Friends uh, project pan, where I have an eyeliner in. So that's a great timing, I think. I need a break from that eyeliner anyway. It's a Amazing eyeliner. It's so good. I put in two eye primers because this was almost done when I started it So I just wanted to finish this one and then I wanted to work on this one I thought I could finish it and if I wore enough makeup in May I would have finished it, but I didn't it is so close to being done, but it is a really really nice primer. So this one is the MDK eyeshadow primer uh, primer potion if you can't tell and this is the Soeva eyeshadow fix long wear matte eyeshadow primer it's amazing i really really enjoy this one it's an amazing primer just take my word for it it's really really good it's not that expensive either so then a few days ago i finished off my elf eyebrow kit i'm so excited so this is all done i'm so excited i was working on the powder I'm so excited that it's done. I will insert the progress pictures as well because I have been working on it for so long and I'm so excited that I can move on to other things now. I do miss a powder for my eyebrows though. I'm using a pencil at the moment, it's not the same thing. So the next item I have is my Tony and Guy Casual Sea Salt Text Directing Spray and I really love this when I have my curls in. I sleep with a braid in my hair and when I take it out I have these beautiful waves and then I spray this in my hair and they stay for most of the day. I have this thin and fine hair so nothing holds in my hair but I really like when I have the curls and I use this. But I was up here in the intro, the first update update and now i'm maybe down to here or something so i'm okay with it not being done because i would really enjoy that product but who wouldn't have it done right the last item i have is my self tanning lotion it is from visa liberata or something when i put it in the intro i was up to here and i didn't use it in the first month but then i used it once there was an air bubble in it, so I only had like this much left. So I had like one and a half use left <laughs> of this product and then it was gone and I was so happy because that would be like three or four uses out of this and I don't like any self tan. So I'm really, really excited to have this done. I can't even explain how excited I am. I'm just really, really excited because I hated it. <laughs> hated it. So the camera cut me off before I could end this video, so I'm just going to end it now. So I'm sorry if the angle is a bit crooked or something. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and follow along on this series of mine. I really hope you enjoyed, even though I didn't do my second update, but I'm sure you have enjoyed all the other ladies that will of course be listed down below. They have all the updates for you guys and there is a playlist as well that Jessica has made. So I hope you will check out those videos if this is the first one you have seen from this series. <laughs> so I'm so excited for the new projects and ideas I have for my channel in the future. I'm going to be traveling, moving and all the stuff in between and I'm so excited and I can't wait to show and share it all with you guys. So I hope you will look forward to it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any videos any projects because i have some a new one coming up i just started a new one and i'm so excited so i hope you guys will follow along and then i will see you guys next time and take care until then bye